All right, time for the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and attempt to replace uh, one of these pumps for now, and then we'll do the second pump um, afterwards. Uh, I've been kind of looking at the situation. Um, never done one of these exact pumps before. Obviously, I've changed hydraulic pumps before and rebuilt them and whatnot, but um, just trying to come up with a, a game plan here. And uh, looking at the way these pumps are installed, uh, there's actually an L bracket on each side, one for each pump, that is bolted through the main frame up here. Uh, that looks like it probably is the quickest way to disconnect. And then uh, we'll work on getting uh, this linkage off, as well as any remaining um, lines that are on the bottom off. And then we'll work on these two mounting bolts and take this whole assembly out with the pulley, the bracket, and the pump. The linkage that connects right here, I should be able to get that off. There's a nut to take that off. Again, take this belt off. And then if we get these two bolts that bolt this bracket and the lines in the bottom, I think this should drop right out through the bottom without a problem. Uh, I think that's a better way to go than trying to disconnect it here and taking the pulley off uh, while it's in here. Now, I don't know if this pulley is a uh, pressed on pulley or if it just slides on, if it's just a or if it's a tight fit or, you know, keyway, or I don't know. I don't know yet until we get that apart. Uh, judging by the new one, there is a key slot in there and it does appear that it may not be a press fit. It may just be, uh, it might just slide on, you know, kind of firm. And then there's a, a bolt on the top to hold the pulley on in place. And then the, the keyway will stop it from spinning. So that should come off pretty easily. Um, like I said, if it if it gets difficult to get this uh, bracket off by the bolts up on the top here, um, I might exact I might uh, you know disconnect the pump here and see if we can't get this uh, pulley off the top of the pump. So I'm just going to kind of let the video go. Um, I might cut in every once in a while with uh, some new information or a new plan, but I'll just kind of get you into position and uh, you can kind of tell what I'm doing and. The process in which I'm going through to, to get this changed out and uh, hopefully we'll get it out before too long I don't think it's gonna be too difficult a little tricky to get to but not too bad all right
All right, so as this fluid's draining out, I've got it draining there and I've got it draining here. I was able to get the, the pump down. Just kind of fell down into place here. And I'm just trying to get, I think I fight with this light more than I fight with the job at hand here. There we go. Just trying to get this uh, control shaft off of the pump assembly there. So it looks like there's a, uh, maybe a half inch a uh, nut on one side, and then it's got a uh, Allen or a Torx uh, bolt going through it. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably just get a pair of vice grips up to hold the left-hand side there where the uh, the bolt is, and then put a wrench on the other side and get the shaft removed, and the pump should come right out. It's actually pretty simple.
All right, got the first one all installed. As you can see it down in there. It was a little tricky getting the pipes back connected up, but uh, they ended up uh, screwing in all right. Just a little bit of tweaking here and there, but it wasn't too, too bad. So that's all set. I just have the uh, old belt on for now, um, just to test it out. Just gonna run it uh, for a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and change the other one. So here it is all back in, in position. Just had to put the two bolts back up in the frame. And um, it does need a little bit of an adjustment and that uh, that uh, little mechanism on the left hand side there is the adjustment. Uh, when we took it apart you saw there was a, um, a slotted uh, Allen on the bottom. Uh, all you got to do is loosen that and then you can twist that whole mechanism back and forth until you find your neutral position because it does creep a little bit. I just, uh, I just started it up and tried it out. Let's uh, go ahead and start it and we'll show you. So as you can see, this was creeping just a little bit forward. Um, so we'll go ahead and adjust that up. Um, but I'm not going to do any adjustments until I change the other one because that's going to need an adjustment too and we want to get everything all dialed in. But uh, that was definitely the problem. Um, the old pump, as you saw. Got it off in my mess over here. Um, visibly, can't really tell anything wrong with it. The shaft and everything uh, is nice and tight. There's no extra play or noise. Uh, the control lever seems fine. Uh, that seal isn't leaking. Um, so externally, this uh, pump appeared to be fine, but uh, obviously it wasn't. So, all right. So if anybody has uh, any questions about uh, me putting it together or anything else, like I said, we're going to put the other one in now, but there's no sense in making a video about that. It's basically the same thing we just did. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get it adjusted up and washed off and... Uh, It'll be ready to go back into action. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.